To have hail, first you need a thunderstorm, and second, you need a strong thunderstorm updraft. Hailstones form as updrafts drive raindrops into extremely cold areas of the atmosphere. Once frozen, these droplets continuously collide onto the hailstone surface, which can change its size and shape. A hailstone will fall when the storm's updraft can no longer support the weight of the stone. This can be caused by a weakening updraft or the hailstone becoming too large. The size of hail is important for meteorologists to track because it determines the amount of damage or impact the stone can cause. Hail size, friction between the stone and the air, as well as surface wind can all impact the speed of descent. While the most common hail in the Carolinas are quarter to penny sized pieces, which typically fall between 45 and 55 miles per hour, it is possible for large hail to fall over 100 miles per hour. If surface winds are strong enough, hail won't just fall downward, but at an angle or sideways. Wind-driven hail can tear up siding on a house, break windows on homes and cars, blow into houses, and even cause severe injury or death. Record hail size for both North and South Carolina is 4.5 inches, which is about the size of a CD. But the largest hailstone ever recorded was in South Dakota back in 2010, which measured 8 inches in diameter, which is just smaller than a volleyball. With your Weather IQ, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees.